uh welcome back to my channel today i want to show you uh what i've been up to uh this is actually a new device that i built it has a lot of potential uh when it comes to how it performs and right now i'm going to demonstrate all the things that i have used on this uh little device i'll show you everything this is the actual device that i've been talking about it performs way more advanced effects than the first one. Uh, in the latest video, I have uh, I have showed you a lot about uh, the first device, what it was capable of. But this thing is more advanced, to be honest. And I have I have a uh, a uh, small horse uh, for the uh, for the effect to be uh, like to. I wanted to advance the effect, that's why I use this hose. As you actually see, we got uh, these wires, which suppose these are the HV positive, negative. Um, here we have uh, the ultrasonic sound and electromagnetic fields uh, in these wires. But here is, this is the um, the the, uh, the electrostatic charges, which is applied from that device over there. This device supplies. Uh, the electrostatic charges all the way here in this device and so that we can be able to uh, get to ionize the air inside this thing uh, I also got the controller I also got the control over there which has the volumes this control is the one which performs everything mm, because we, as you actually see here is where I control each circuit of the uh, of my device mm, we got we got three switches which means the circuit of ultrasonic sound the circuit of uh, uh the circuit of ultrasonic sound is controlled um the circuit of high voltage hv drive is also controlled and uh and the circuit of the electromagnetic fields as well mm, so i use this uh, these are uh, these volumes to control everything so that i can be i can be able to see the effects there on the device i have also designed uh the switch the switch which also will help me to uh to uh this, these are the three switches which means when, when i turn on when i turn on like one switch i turn on the i turn on one of the three circuits mm, so when i turn all these things on the device is already turned on what is left is to control uh Mm, these uh, volumes here so that we can see the effect there mm, but it but it actually takes time it actually takes time i'm not gonna lie uh it is not actually it doesn't happen like right away mm, you wait for a few for a few seconds though maybe a minute as i said um this is a uh, this is the uh, the high voltage the high voltage uh drive hv drive which releases charges from um uh, from here, from the from the HV fiber transformer inside, and then it it actually it actually brings the electrostatic charges from these wires all the way there. Mm. Here's where we control. Here's where we control the electro. This is where we control the um, the electrostatic charges using use, we control the electrostatic charges using these wires. Uh, we control the electrostatic charges using these wires and then uh, uh, according to which amount we want to go which which amount of the electrostatic charges we want from here to the device and so this is the advanced design that i built um according to the first one this one is more is more advanced than the first one and i try to i try to cover all the area around it I try to cover all the area around this thing so that um, the electrostatic charges doesn't get out easily. Mm. We kind of we kind of stuck them inside. Mm. We kind of stuck them inside um, of this box. Um, a little reminder though, I, 
everyone who really want to like learn more about this device everyone who want to know more about how it works because we have uh, seen some fascinating effects on this thing too uh, so everyone who want to know exactly how this little thing works mm. and the schematics who really want the schematics of this device can that let you text me on my email mm. you can text me on my email and everyone who want to support this project mm. can also uh, like text me on the email which I'm gonna put on this video mm. I even try to make this thing a little uh, bigger though a little bigger because we wanna we wanna make it re even revitate uh, because I want to be able to make um, this thing uh, revitate the bigger stones which are which have a lot of mass and a lot of mass uh, we'll also be able to revitate it uh, to revitate it on the ground and because I think and the force the effect the the levity forces that we get up on the side up on the side here um, if we if we be able to like when I turn it upside down, when I turn it upside down, if we'll be able to um, to delete these forces on the ground, I am pretty sure we'll get the effect of gravitation though. Mm, because according to uh, how we how we lift things, for example, this stone that I was showing you, uh, this thing is more is more is more fascinating to be honest. Mm. Uh, what I was, uh, what I was telling you is that when I when we we'll be able to delete the force. The riveting force which actually lifts this stone and turn this device upside down too uh, I am pretty sure that we will get the effect that we wanted but we have first of all to uh, to see in the experiments because I'm planning to use even the larger stone the larger stones which are which weighs uh, which actually have a uh, higher 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 mass than this device Mm. If we'll be able to uh, to revitate the stones which have the mass higher than this device, I think we'll also be able to make it revitate above the ground.